I have a question for you. What's your next chapter? I'm dead serious. What is the next chapter of your life? I don't care how young you are, how old you are. I want to turn the tables back on you. I want you to think about where you've been. I want you to think about why are you here? There is a new chapter starting in your life, in your business, in your relationships. And it's going to start right now. So what is it? You know exactly what you're afraid of. You know exactly what you've been avoiding. And you got to make a decision to change it. You know exactly what it is. Don't BS anybody. You know what you need to do different. You know the changes you need to make. And if you can do that, you stop kidding yourself, you can win. You can overcome your fear, overcome procrastination. You know. You know. When you are guilty of wasting time and laying in bed and you're being lazy. You know it. Whether that was 7 o'clock in the morning or 6 o'clock in the morning, you know it. You ever wake up and you feel that sense of dread? You got a job you hate going to? You got a body that you don't like? You just don't feel that good? So believe it or not, understand that anxiety, worry, procrastination, self-doubt, they are all habits. Self-doubt is a habit. It's a behavior, a thinking pattern that you repeat over and over and then it becomes automated. In today's world, this is the number one skill for you. Self-control. I think that everybody wants freedom in all the various aspects of their life. Of course, everyone wants financial freedom. Everyone wants to have more free time. Those are two really easy examples to understand. And if you want to have financial freedom, well, then how are you going to get there? The answer is you have to have financial discipline. And same thing with more free time. If you want to have more free time, then you have to have a more disciplined time management schedule. I want you to leverage the progress principle. I want you every morning to write down one thing that, matter, like, that, that you can do. Just one thing today. Forward is forward. I don't care how small it is. Because what happens is when you start to see yourself taking action on something that's important to you, whether it's just researching or taking a little online course or just buying a book or just having a conversation or just watching a video, if you do that every single day, what happens is you start to see yourself becoming the kind of person that's doing it. This is the secret to everything. You know, people say, how can I get discipline in my life? And I tell them, step number one is wake up early. It seems like sleeping in in the morning is, is a form of freedom because, hey, I don't have to do anything. I'm just going to sleep in. But the reality is, is when you sleep in, now you don't get things done. And now those things that you were supposed to do aren't done. And now the next day you have to wake up early and get them done, not because you want to, but because you have to. So you've become a slave to the fact that you didn't have discipline. So if you actually want to have freedom in your life, you have to Im implement discipline on yourself. And, and I'm not advocating because it's unhealthy to not sleep enough, you know, and if you need eight hours, go to bed earlier. But, you know, and I'm not saying you need to wake up at four o'clock in the morning, but I am saying this. If you want to wake up early in the morning, go to bed earlier. Well, that's real simple to say, but it's hard to do. It's, it's hard to do, number one, when you're looking at your phone. It's hard to do when you're staring at your computer screen. It's hard to do when you're watching TV. Those things are meant. They're, they're designed to make you keep looking at them. And so you do. So what you need to do is turn those things off and try and go to bed. Now, the first night, you're going to have a hard time going to sleep. What you do is the next morning, you wake up early anyways. Along the journey, there's going to be things that you need to do, but you don't necessarily want to do. But those things are critical to your success. Excellence is an art won by training and habituation. We do not act rightly because we have virtue or excellence, but rather we have those because we have acted rightly. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. The most important thing you can do is win the morning. Just win the morning, man. I think that's true for all of us, even high performers. Like, I, I, I don't have my morning routine game. I, I feel, you know, out of sorts. 
Um, so I think it's true for everybody. You gotta own your morning, you gotta win it because that starts and sets up everything else. I know you, you believe that as well. Like people need that discipline, those routines that will help the rest of their day go better. You need to focus on doing better every freaking day of your life. If doing better is not the main thing, it will not be a thing at all. If being successful is not the main thing, it will become nothing. To feel more confident about the things that you want to do in your next chapter, it begins with being willing to try. It starts with that. Otherwise, you get trapped in hesitating. Just stop thinking, worrying, looking over your shoulder, hoping for some easy way out. Stop it and just do. Listen to me, you gotta make a decision. What's the decision? What's the decision? What have you been hesitating on? What are you afraid of? Face it, right now, what do you need to decide? Is it getting aggressive? Is it believing in yourself? Is it reaching out to somebody? Is it a recruit you've missed? Is it coming full time? I don't know what it is for you. What's the decision? Maybe there's someone in your life that needs you to get out of your life. Maybe there's someone you need in it and you need to tell them you love them and get them back in it. I don't know. But I know this, it's only a thought if you don't take an action. The difference between a thought and a decision is an action. So we know and you know you just decided and you know what it is. You know what it is. Here's the hard truth about getting great. It takes time and dedication. It takes a willingness to accept that you're not yet good enough. It takes the ability to stare at the places that you know that you're weak, to really look at those things and not let it affect your sense of self-esteem and not let it affect your sense of self-worth so that you can still get the momentum going. But you have to understand that in the beginning, we're all terrible. And as Henri Cartier-Bresson said, your first 10,000 photographs are your worst. And so the thing that really makes great art are the people that continue to push and the people that continue to work and face how inadequate they are and really understand that at the end of the day, greatness is a craft. Greatness is a process. Greatness is a habit. Greatness is the little things that you do every day, over time, going out every day, unafraid of whether or not this is one of the 10,000 terrible things that you're gonna do. It's being unafraid to make those mistakes. It's being unafraid that you're not yet great. And as Marianne Radmaker said, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. And that's it. If you want to be great, that's what you have to do. You've got to get up again tomorrow. You've got to be willing to face another day. You've got to be willing to accept that you've got to get through the bad ideas before you can get to the good. You've got to understand that you have to start as an apprentice. You have to start as a person going and getting tea and you have to accept that that's the job that you should be playing, that you should be working for somebody else, you should be looking up to somebody else and seeing what they can teach you because what you know is that you're there to learn. What you know is that you're there to get through the 10,000 bad photographs that you need to get through to ultimately achieve greatness. And if you make the catastrophic error that so many make to try to tell the world that you're extraordinary today, to try to get the world to follow you and look up to you and think that you're something today. Because the people that really win are the ones that invest today. The ones that listen today. The ones that spend every ounce of their energy amassing mastery, getting better every day, working their asses off to improve their skill set, to relentlessly look at the things that they're not doing well, to understand that they have to break themselves down and get rid of all of their ego before they can really find greatness. Those are the people that we remember. <laughs>